Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Saturday. We've got 15 matchups on this NHL slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on our way to 23.2K subs, so go ahead and make that happen. Check out all my betting links in the description below. All kinds of profit boosts and um, promos uh, for this weekend here. But now we'll hop in at Monster Slate today, starting with the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Philadelphia Flyers. Flyers opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Chicago plus 130 with the over under at five and a half. Chicago coming into this matchup 7 12 and 1. The Flyers 8 10 and 2. Chicago, they're coming off a Florida win, uh, ending their three game losing streak they were on. The Flyers, they're on a two game losing streak coming off a Carolina loss. Uh, Chicago, 3 and 8 against the Flyers. 3 and 17 on the road against the Flyers. They've been very bad against the Flyers here. The unders hit in uh, nine of the last 13 between the two. Um, yeah, look at the Flyers here. Uh, Chicago's just been awful against them. We'll take Philadelphia at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Wild versus the Calgary Flames. Wild opening up his road favorites at minus 140. Calgary plus 120 with the over under at five and a half. Wild coming into this matchup 13 3 and 3. Calgary 11 6 and 3. Uh, Minnesota on a two game winning streak coming off an Edmonton win. Calgary, they're on a three game winning streak coming off a Rangers win. Uh, Calgary, the unders hit in Calgary's four of their last five against Minnesota. I don't know, you get both teams that are playing well here. And um, I'm liking the dog today, Calgary. I think they're a good underdog. They're playing well, getting some good plus money for a money line play. Um, yeah, I'll take a shot with Calgary plus one and a half at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Seattle Kraken versus the Los Angeles Kings. Kings opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Kraken plus 140 with the over under at five and a half. Kraken coming into this matchup 10, 9, and 1. The Kings 10, 7, and 3. Seattle, they're coming off a Nashville win. Uh, LA, they're coming off a Buffalo loss. Seattle, four and one on the road against LA. They've had some some, some success there. The unders hit in five of the last seven between the two. Um, I don't know, nothing crazy with this matchup overall. Seattle's played very well. They're five and one in their last six. So um, I'm liking Seattle here. And been, been able to win on the road in LA here. Give me the crack and plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Carolina opening up as road favorites at minus 250. Columbus plus 200 with the over under at six and a half. Carolina coming into this matchup 14 and five. Columbus eight, nine and two. Carolina, they're coming off a devil's loss. Columbus. They're on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Tampa Bay win. Uh, Carolina, four and one against Columbus, eight and four on the road, where they've uh, played very well here. The overs hitting Columbus's six of their last seven at home against Carolina. Um, yeah, just looking at this one, I'm, I'm liking the Hurricanes. I mean, man, they've been pretty dominant so far this season here, and. Um, been very good head to head, good on the road as well. I'll take the Hurricanes in this one. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Avalanche versus the Florida Panthers. Florida opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Colorado plus 120 with the over under at six and a half. Colorado coming into this matchup 11 and nine. Florida 12, seven and one. Uh, Colorado on a two game winning streak coming off a Washington win. Florida, they're one and four in their last five. I've had some couple, couple rough games from Florida. Um, Colorado, two and five against Florida. They haven't been the best head to head here. Uh, Florida, the overs hit in Florida seven of their last ten against Colorado. Florida, eleven and five at home. They've been very solid. And um, Again, I think I think we're gonna get a lot of good dogs today. Colorado, a nice dog. They've been playing well, Florida. 
Uh, been a rough week. Uh, they've had some tough losses to some uh, pretty bad teams. And um, yeah, I'll take a shot with Colorado plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Boston Bruins versus the Detroit Red Wings. Boston opening up his road favorites at minus 135. Detroit plus 115 with the over-under at 6. Bruins coming into this matchup 9-9-3. Nine, nine, Detroit 8-9-2. and two. Uh, Boston coming off a Utah win. Detroit, they're coming off an Islanders win. Neither team really playing that well right now. Um, yeah, Boston, they've just been pretty, pretty mid. Same with Detroit. Um, not the elite. We, you know, not the elite games we see from Boston. Uh, usually a lot every year. And um, yeah, I think Red Wings are good dogs. Not too sold on Boston, especially on the road. I'll take Detroit plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Dallas Stars versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Dallas, or yeah, Dallas opening up a slight road favorites at minus 115. The Lightning minus 105 with the over under at six. Dallas coming into this matchup 12 and six. The Lightning 10, six and two. Uh, Dallas coming off a of San Jose win five to two. Tampa Bay, uh, they're coming off a of Columbus loss six to seven. Uh, Dallas five and fourteen against Tampa Bay, one and six on the road against Tampa. They have really struggled against the Lightning here. The unders hit in Tampa's four of their last six against Dallas, and uh, yeah, with how bad Dallas has been on the road. Uh, against Tampa Bay. I think I got to take a shot with Tampa Bay uh, plus one and a half at home today. Next matchup, we got the New Jersey Devils versus the Washington Capitals. Devils opening up as road favorites at minus 135. The Capitals plus 115 with the over under at six. Devils coming into this matchup 13 7 and 2. Washington 13 5 and 1. Uh, the Devils, they're coming off a Carolina win. Washington, they're coming off a Colorado loss. Uh, no, no Ovechkin for Washington. Definitely a big loss for them. We'll see how well they play without him. Uh, both teams playing very good. New Jersey seven and three in their last ten. Washington six and four in their last ten. Uh, Devils six and fourteen against Washington. They have not been good head to head here. Uh, the overs hit in six of the last seven. Um. For the Devils on the road against Washington. And I don't know. People might be scared that Ovechkin's not going to be playing here. I don't think I am. This is still a great team with or without him. Give me the Capitals plus one and a half at home. Next matchup. We got the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Montreal Canadiens. Vegas opening up as road favorites at minus 160. Montreal plus 130 with the over under at six and a half. Vegas coming into this matchup 12 6 and 2. Montreal 7 10 and 2. Vegas, they're coming off an Ottawa win. Montreal on a two game winning streak, coming off an Edmonton win. Uh, been rough for Montreal. They're 3 and 7 in their last 10. Finally getting a couple wins in a row here. Uh, Vegas 6 and 0 against Montreal. 4 and 1 on the road against Montreal. They've been. Pretty dominant against Montreal here. The overs hit in five of the last six between the two. And um, yeah, I think I got to take the Golden Knights on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Utah Hockey Club versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Utah. Nah, we're looking at we're looking at a pick em scenario here. Mo both teams at minus 110. Uh, with the over-under at 6. Utah coming into this matchup 7-9-3. and three. Pittsburgh 7-11-4. and four. Uh, For some reason, I'm not seeing much stats on this game. Yeah, I'm not seeing any stats on this game at all for some reason. Um, so let's just go look at this live. So that's so I don't have to edit it out. Yeah, sometimes I wouldn't say sometimes. I'd say a lot of times. Um I get a lot of a lot of sites that just don't have 
proper stats updated. And that's just kind of how it's been. Let's take a look. All right, um, let's see. So yeah, Utah Hockey Club versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, so that over is at six and a half. It's pretty. It's a pick 'em scenario here. You've got Utah. They are coming off a three-game losing streak, coming off a Boston loss. Penguins. They're on a two-game losing streak. They just played Winnipeg yesterday. Lost four to one. Uh, Penguins one and four in their last five. This is an ugly-looking matchup here. A uh, really true pick of scenario. Both teams playing horrible. I mean, it's identical. They're both playing bad. And uh, with that info, I'm going to take the home team. Both teams playing horribly. It's a pick em game. Give me the Penguins at home. Next matchup, we've got the uh, Winnipeg Jets versus the Nashville Predators. Nashville opening up as, as home favorites at minus 140. Winnipeg plus 120 with the over under at six. Winnipeg coming into this matchup 17 and three. Nashville 6 11 and three. Winnipeg on a two game winning streak. Eight and two in their last 10. They're coming off a Pittsburgh win. Nashville, they're coming off a Seattle loss 3 0. They're 3 and 7 in their last 10. Uh, Winnipeg, 6 and 3 against Nashville. 8 and 2 on the road here. They've been really good. I mean, yeah, getting Winnipeg as a dog. I'm going to take that probably all season whenever I get the chance. They've just played so well. Nashville has not played it. Nashville has not played good enough to be favorites. I'm sorry. They just haven't. Give me the Jets plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the St. Louis Blues versus the New York Islanders. Islanders opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Blues plus 140 with the over under at five and a half. Blues coming into this matchup, 9, 11, and 1. Islanders 7, 8, and 5. St. Louis coming off a San Jose win. Islanders, they're on a three-game losing streak coming off a Detroit loss. I mean, neither teams look good here. Uh, St. Louis, they haven't played well. Islanders, they are 1-5 and five in their last six. Another ugly-looking game. And um, not sure I can trust the Islanders as big favorites today. So uh, I'll take the Blues plus 1.5 on the road. Next matchup, we got the Buffalo Sabres versus the San Jose Sharks. Buffalo opening up as road favorites at minus 165. The Sharks plus 140 with the over-under at 6. Buffalo coming into this matchup 10-9-1. The Sharks 6-11-5. Buffalo on a two-game winning streak coming off an of Anaheim win. San Jose, they're coming off a of St. Louis loss. They're 1-5 and five in their last six right now. Uh, Buffalo 4-1 and one against San Jose where they've been good. The overs hit in four of the last five on the road for Buffalo against San Jose. San Jose 5-13 and 13 at home here. And um, I like the Sabres. Uh, they've played decent here lately. They've been very good against San Jose, and San Jose has been really struggling. I'll take the Sabres on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Rangers versus the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Rangers plus 110 with the over-under at 6.5. Rangers coming into this matchup 12-5-1. Edmonton 10-9-2. The Rangers, they're coming off a Calgary loss. Edmonton, uh, they're coming off a Minnesota loss. They're 1-3 and three in their last four right now. Uh, I mean, a good matchup. Both teams playing well. And um, I think there's good value, especially with the Rangers. Um, I don't know, it's been a rough few games for Edmonton, just one and three in their last four. And, uh, you know, dealing with some injuries, Evander Kane out. I mean, they're still dealing with a lot of stuff. But, uh, yeah, Rangers, good plus money today. I'll take the Rangers plus one and a half on the road. Then the last matchup, we've got the Vancouver Canucks versus the Ottawa Senators. Uh, let's check... Yeah, uh, Ottawa opening up as home favorites at minus 135. 
Vancouver plus 115 with the over under at five and a half. Vancouver coming into this matchup nine, six, and three. Ottawa eight, ten, and one. Uh, Vancouver, they've dropped their last two coming off a Rangers loss. Uh, this Ottawa, they've dropped their last four uh, coming off a Vegas loss. Not a good looking matchup here. Both teams, I don't know, both teams struggling. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, when both teams are struggling like this, I like to take the dog here, take the plus money. Never really trust, the, I never really trust a favorite in a bad matchup. I'll take Vancouver plus one and a half on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.